Hello and welcome to the final episode of SHC Badgers Basketball. A new chapter unfolds. I'm Sanaya Andre reporting from Spring Hill College. In today's segment, you will be hearing from the community that greatly misses being able to physically support the athletes here on campus. I was able to speak with current students, alumni, faculty, staff, and friends of the college to get their insight on what it was like to go through this pandemic without being able to unify as a community. Here's what they had to say. The pandemic has really had an effect on sports just because we're not being able to uh, be there in person to witness and support or um, just be there and experience the, the ambiance of being in a real life sporting event. Um, I think it, it kind of takes away from the authenticity of being able to uh, be there and support your friends and teammates on the, on the team. Yeah, I was able to catch a couple live streams of the basketball game and uh, it kind of helped us in a way get closer um, to the real life scenario of being there in the live sporting event. Um, yeah. Kind of just met in the middle. Yeah, I prefer being in the stands. I feel like being there in person just really adds more to the environment and um, contributing to school spirit and uh, team support and morale. So COVID for me has warped my experiences because last year we could be more sociable without the mask. We'd be like in bigger groups together and it's kind of affected us because we like have more smaller groups, more like COVID friendly events, which is kind of making it hard for people to come. And people are like, well, I don't want to come for real because it's not as personable, but we're just trying to find ways to get around that. For me, how I pushed through the mental mind games was always looking at the positive. Okay, I can't do this, but I know I can do this. Okay, this may not be the same, but I know I can make it different and it, it might end up being better. One of my favorite memories from the basketball games is, I think it was one of the guys games. It was a really close game. It was like 74 to 72. And somebody shot a three and the buzzer went off. Everybody went crazy. They flooded the floor. It was so much fun. And I was like, I can't wait to go to this next year. I'm so excited. I can't wait for the next game, next week. I'm so excited. And then coronavirus hit. So we didn't get to experience any more of those like fan, fun field games yet, but I'm very excited. The only thing I want to say is just keep pushing. Just keep going. We're over the hill now. It's only downhill from here. Like it, it can't get any worse, you know? We, we got this, we're almost there. Just for me to just think about how far we've come and how we got sent home in March and we couldn't come back until August, that's a long time to be at home. And for us to just come back and still be able to like do our sports, participate, go to practice, see our teammates again, it's great. So just be positive, look up, and there's always sunshine at the end of the rainbow. I think not being able to attend any sporting events this year kind of like put a damper on your social life because before it was like you only have a few things you can do on campus. You can go, you can study, you can go and hang out with your friends in their apartments or you can go to like some sports games and just because we're not allowed to, I think it really kept me and my friends from hanging out as much as we normally would and getting to support people like we wanted to. Because hopefully next year we all get to come out and support each other and watch each other play and just be a community again. I opt out due to COVID. It was definitely a tough decision. I didn't opt out until like the second semester. So I was like practicing during the first half, but um, I talked to my family and it was the best decision for me to just focus on school, um, still have a year eligibility if I want to play after. I miss it a lot. I actually went to go see like two games here um, and I was ready to cry because I miss it. I just miss competing though. Like I don't miss practicing, but I just miss playing the game for it. First, I just want to say thank you for welcoming me with open arms. Um, I had a great time here, my two years here, great time. Never had a problem. The teachers was second to none. Um, I really just appreciate the community. Uh, I came from like a small JUCO, a uh, small town with like 8,000 people to a big city like this, like kind of like New York, but not. So I really just appreciate everything um, with my teammates wise. I appreciate them for, for like, taking me in with open arms, um, accepting what I had to do for me, um, and just leaving them with just, um, don't let your emotions control your decisions. Uh, a lot of times emotions control 90% of your decisions. So just go out there and just play. And because basketball is a lot of mental, it's a lot of mental standpoint and more so just go out there and hoop, bro. I, I do believe that sporting events create unity on campus because um, they tend to draw um, everyone to these events, whether they're co-students, co-athletes, faculty and staff, or even alumni or people in the neighborhood. 
and um, that uh, so that that brings people together, and it also strengthens this notion of school pride. You know? And and winning, while well, winning is good, while well, winning is always a good thing, or most often a good thing, um, it's not really that that's the most important thing. I think it's just seeing everyone come together to support a team to support athletes, I think that's a very, very, um, very strong um, mechanism to, to strengthen this sense of, of identity as a badger. You know? um, and uh, school pride is there too. I remember in the past when the, the outlaw center would be packed with people wearing purple or wearing white, depending on what, we're, what we were asked to wear, um, to attend a game, a basketball game or a volleyball game. Um, and that was really amazing to see everyone in it together cheering. Um, and uh, yeah, so I think sporting events have that very important role of drawing everyone together. A lot of my local teammates, they have their parents come to the game all the time. And of course, there's no support like your parents support. And I know they were pretty down about that. Their families had to watch online and they had to pay. So that's not really, you know, the best circumstance for us. But it was, it was terrible. Um, not being able to attend other sporting events is pretty detrimental for our athletics in general simply because our fans are other athletes on different teams and so we really just look out for each other since we're such a small community so with us not being able to do that it took a huge toll on us. I would have to say to just keep pushing. I know um, the first few years on campus for a lot of athletes it's pretty tough trying to you know adapt to your surroundings and having class and being a full-time athlete but just keep pushing. That's all you can do and just give your hardest and don't be afraid to ask for help, whether it's from your coaches, your teammates, the staff. You just can't be afraid to ask for help. Well, the coronavirus, of course, has affected us worldwide and it's a, it's a pandemic that uh, we've only seen second time in, in, in our lifetime anyway. And it's, uh, it's been sad. And you know, I've thought about this, and, and not only has it been sad for us adults, but also for the student population, because of uh, the biggest time in your life is during your high school and college years. And uh, I'm sure it's been uh, quite difficult as a college student to enjoy the uh, college life that uh, everyone else has experienced in the past. And uh, to me, being an athlete all my life and a collegiate athlete, uh, it's, it's sad that also athletes have not experienced as, as other athletes have in the past. What words of advice I would give to persevere the young students or the old students is keep the faith that uh, God's going to make things different and uh, you know this could just be a test for us for, for now and also for the future of how we handle things such as this. But I think uh, as a nation and as a, a world we've handled it uh, quite well. Uh, we've had some difficulties, some bumps in the road. But uh, I would just say keep the faith that uh, all things begin and all things end. Well, I felt like I wasn't really involved at first. And with student athletics, I feel like you have the students that you're cheering on and the people that are there with you to cheer those on. So y'all all have a common interest there. But not being at those basketball games, that wasn't an option. If, I, if I'm able to be there to cheer them on, you know, I will be. We are our community here that needs to support each other. A lot of my close friends were on that basketball team and it, it felt real good for me to be, for the roles to be changed and me being able to be the person supporting them. And it was, it's a, it was a big deal for me to be able to come and wear, my, wear, wear the team's colors, the badges on my shirt. And it was a big deal for me to be able to come and support. And not as a player, but as a fan. It's a big difference. I would encourage my fellow Badgers to continue fighting. We will make it through this, and we will overcome as we always do. But until then, keep that Badger spirit and keep on fighting. The unity that sports brings us is uncomparable. Uh, on the field, I've made lifelong friends, and off the field, the people that support us have been People are backing us since the beginning. Spring Hill community, I would want them to know that sports here is really community driven. 
most, more than anything else. When I go out and I'm, and I'm performing in front of my peers, since we're such a small school, my peers that I see every day, it really makes me want to perform to the best of my ability. And that's pretty much the whole team really can get behind that. It's um, the sports here is something that's a, a whole community-based thing. It's not just a singular sport. Every sport backs each other. Or it's just the way of life here. It's just stay self-driven, self-motivated. Play for your teammates, play for your brothers and sisters. One thing about Spring uh, College community, they're very close-knit and I met a lot of my best friends here, but like guys who I spend time talking with, having real conversations, uh, get really get to know on a deeper level. You know, I say I, I definitely love the community here. Uh, the fans, we miss y'all a whole lot. We definitely can't wait to have y'all back next year, have y'all, you know, come and tear us on for our wins. I think with a group we, we have coming in, a group we have now, we have a really good team, and we definitely can't wait to put on a show for y'all. Uh, for my guys on the team, I appreciate all y'all, you know, for everything y'all do. Uh, let's definitely keep this train going. Let's definitely build a new culture. And I appreciate everybody. This year was definitely easier to get focused on the school side of being a student athlete because we barely had any athletic activity. So when you don't have the athletics, you only have the school to care about. So that's what I was doing personally. I was definitely going to some basketball games uh, when we were out in the stands, for sure. I enjoyed it. Yeah, if, if fans are allowed back in the stands uh, for next semester or next year, I'm definitely going because it's been, it's been a long time since I haven't came over here to the gym to watch the basketball team play. So yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. That's tons of fun. It's just really nice to see everybody get together and cheer on the team. We really don't have a football team, so basketball is like everybody's like exciting, you know, sport. So um, it's just fun to have like the students come in and have our own little section on the side and then have some of our favorite players playing. Um, I know that they have very good coaching and so it's just really exciting to see everybody, the cheerleaders cheering us on in the <laughs> halftime and on the sides. Um, and then our Badger, of course. College athletes for definitely, for sure, felt the weight of COVID and you know, how it kind of just slowed everything down. Everything is virtual now. We don't have, you know, that, that tightly knit community that I was talking about earlier anymore. It's kind of like everybody is on their own. And so it definitely brings down the vibe. It brings down the atmosphere. Um, everybody's kind of feeling the tension of school and then having to, you know, adjust to Zoom and Google Meet and stuff like that. And then, of course, the athletics part where, you know, we can't really have spectators and stuff like that. So nobody can really see their progress. And we really don't know how they're doing in the season unless we like know someone. Somebody's going to see you. Your name will be in the books at some point. You know, at the end of the day, you are an athlete. You are a student athlete. You are a Spring Hill student athlete. So there's not much else we can do besides just stay excited about the next season. Just bringing, like here with soccer, we have all these international players from all over the world, from different cultures, different, different, uh, you know, communities that they come from and backgrounds and everything else, and everybody mixing together. Athletics can do that like nothing else because you have a common goal. Common goal is to win, and so, you know, a lot of that other stuff gets thrown thrown out when your common goal is to win and be successful. I've had teams that we battled in the locker room, but we stepped out of that locker room, we were one. And so I, I think sometimes people see that and they don't understand that, you know, sometimes, yeah, you can disagree, but then you got to come together as one and, and to overcome obstacles. And that's kind of like what we just did. I mean, we came together to overcome this pandemic. And I think they were part of something and uh, you know they'll look back and they'll you know kind of look and say hey you know it, we dealt with it you know we came through it and I'm a better person for it.